Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So haven't we got a treat today? It's Thursday, and even though that many of us are celebrating a certain occasion today, we've even had enough time to receive the patch that is Exploration Mode, the thing that we've been waiting for for so long. So let's actually have a look at it. Let's set it to easy mode, and I'll show you here, so you can actually see the density level that we can actually set here. We've got the usual, and we've got infinite low, infinite normal, and infinite high density. We'll try high density, and we'll also go a little bit more advanced, and we'll show you the new protocol here for world size. So we have 100k, and we have unlimited, that's always been there, but the new 100k world size allows us to explore, but at the same time put a limit on how much exploration we can actually do. So let's get out there and have a look at some of this procedurally generated terrain. So we're here on the starting platform. Now you may notice that there's something a little bit different. You see them asteroids far, far away. They're actually visible. We can actually go off in that direction and find out what's actually over there. And these asteroids go on for that 100 kilometers or even unlimited if you set it to that. And we could go off in any of these directions to actually explore and see what's going on. I can't see any ships or anything just at the moment. I'll turn on my hood and have a look if there's anything in the distance. No, it doesn't look like it. That asteroid over there looks quite promising, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind going a little bit further away and just see how the asteroids actually generate. So we'll head off in that direction in Henry that I've equipped here. And as we fly in, we should start to see the asteroids actually become generated. So we'll turn the power on and we'll blast off over here. So we can see the asteroids actually further away and it's just adding that extra level of immersion into the game. Now that looks like quite an interesting asteroid up there, if that is an asteroid or a ship. Let's actually pull left a little bit and have a look what this is over here, because this looks quite interesting, unless it's just a small little cluster. You can see that the asteroids are actually being generated, you see that one's been generated, and the asteroids actually behind me are being, well, not removed, but they're being remembered and actually placed there if I decide to revisit. So if you leave a world like this, all the asteroids are already actually preset, but at the same time, if you restart another world, it'll all be completely random. So it's quite an interesting thing to actually have a look at. Now I've completely lost where I was heading with that other thing. Now I'm going to have a quiet look around. Oh, let's have a look at that asteroid. That one's pretty interesting. So with the, all these asteroids are being generated and they're not like the ones we've actually seen before. These are sort of very new in configuration. You can see how we've actually got like joints and different bits sticking out the side of that one. So the multiple asteroids actually connected together. The starting platform is now far, far away. Let's actually take a look at this one and the community creations are actually going to be stored either on the asteroids or around these asteroids so you've just got to be careful when you're looking out you might come across them you might not and obviously since space is so large it's going to be very hard so this looks like a donut sort of asteroid with a number of other asteroids actually stuck into it and due to that being configured like that it means the asteroids are pretty much like endless in configurations and shapes and sizes anyway let's head off and if i find anything i will get back we start recording and show you what i found so we're coming up on what looks like a quite interesting asteroid. I don't think I've seen an asteroid that actually looks like this before. It looks very warped, very starred. Maybe they've added some new asteroids into the game as well, or it could just be sort of the part of the procedural generation of the different shapes and asteroids. This is, looks like a very sort of star, sort of warped out sort of style of asteroid. And it's got like a little bit of a cluster at the top, just passing by that. Whoa, that would be absolutely beautiful to mine. It looks like it's got a hole in the top there. Let's go and have a look inside might even find a base or something and yeah we've got this like entrance here that looks like it's been snapped off oh and that's perfect that's perfect for a little base construction there it's just, it's just so fun now because you're not limited to the asteroids that you actually start with and that means that you could come across something there's actually reason to go out into space and look for somewhere else to actually construct your base now this would make a really nice little station inside here something I might have to come back to I could add a little beacon maybe to this area and I could come back to it later still not found any ships though I'm sure I'll come across one soon enough. Now, something else that I've discovered that is actually quite exciting, I'm actually leaving from that star asteroid that I was just exploring and heading over here. And this asteroid is actually quite far away, and I can actually really feel the speed. As I'm getting closer to it, the object is obviously getting larger. As I'm getting away from that one, it's getting smaller. But I can just feel the need to go faster, make a faster ship. I mean, slower ships would take absolutely ages to get anywhere because space is just so large. And I think they've just really illustrated it extremely well, just how big the vastness of space is. You can see these asteroids and different little things out there. But it really gives you somewhere to go. 
and something that wasn't like this before and it's just it's just really interesting to actually have a play around with i'm still on the hunt for a ship though or something but they're so small it might be really hard to actually pick up or detect i don't know i've been looking for the thing so long though Every, i can't tell it i really can't tell if i'm moving or everything else is still am i still <laughs> or is everything else moving i think the asteroids are moving <laughs> the only the only thing that's giving get, trying to hint to me that I'm moving is my thrusters are blasting, but I don't physically feel like I'm moving anywhere. Oh my god, this is this is this is like this is I, I'm scared of space. There's, there's so many asteroids. I just want one ship. So so what? Give me the statistics again. So the, uh, there's an inf there is there's a hundred percent chance I can bump into something if I stay on one course. But it could take me up to 300 years, correct? Or not correct? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Now, this is one of the first ships that I've just managed to come across. It was just sitting here around in this asteroid area. I've been looking for a station, but I just couldn't find one. I've rewired it up, and this ship seems to be a really interesting design. The cockpit seems to be able to be a separate module that can be detached and moved around to different locations so you can see we've got all these merge blocks here here and here on top as well as battery cells it's just a really nice design and i've wired up some piston doors that i found so we've got these sort of blast doors that pop open on the sides that reveal weaponry pistons there and there and if we do the other button we've got blast doors that open on the back that reveal uh, some sort of cargo uh, troop transporting capability that has buttons and is wired up and it's just a really nice thing to have a look at I'll have to continue exploring and see else what else I can find. I'm really hoping to find a station So I've been searching the area around my base for a good 30-40 minutes now And I've only managed to come across one ship and I've got a number of different tips that I've worked out That are probably gonna be quite useful now the first one is when you start looking for things in space try to work out a general direction so something that i came up with was just to throw a beacon in a general direction straight ahead of me so that i know if i turn right or turn left to have a look at an asteroid i can reference back to that beacon and realize exactly where i'm going otherwise i found myself going around in circles revisiting the same asteroids just because from a distance they look like they were different and that is one of the biggest problems i've noticed Mir mirages sort of like being in the desert you look over to one of these asteroids that's far away and you think you see something on the side of it something that doesn't look like it could be part of a natural asteroid and by doing so you just cause the problem of your head back over there and you're like whoa i think i found something i think i found something and you get close and the asteroid pops back in and you found absolutely nothing anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and get exploring i'm going to be starting to work on some exploration ships and try to locate some of these hidden gems that are hidden out there within this world so i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time